Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm trying to explain a few concepts or terminologies in Azure that is uh, more or less confusing for a lot of people. So and these concepts are subscriptions organization, tenant, uh, or uh, Azure Active Directory accounts. Um, so and also licenses. So when an organization approaches Microsoft and says, I want to use uh, we want to use uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, Microsoft says, okay, then you need to subscribe. So when the organization registers uh, and subscribes to Azure services, uh, there is a subscription created. And um, the subscription has can have licenses. Uh, depends on whether it's uh, a Azure subscription or also a, um, or a uh, office 365 subscription. So if it's a Azure subscription, then then we don't need licenses. <clears throat> if it's Office 365 subscription, license can um, can be assigned to individual accounts in order to use uh, those uh, those services. And then what is tenant and what are accounts? So uh, and what are active uh, active Azure Active Directory. So a tenant is a representation of a single instance of all of the Azure services. So it corresponds to one. So one tenant corresponds to one Azure Active Directory and one Azure Directory. Uh, Azure Active Directory corresponds to one tenant. That's why I didn't separate them, but they they are kind of a different con concepts. Um, and one uh, Active Directory ha can have multiple accounts. Each account represents a maybe an employee, one one employee under the organization. So when see this dotted line, this is uh, association between the subscription and the tenant. So when this association is established, when a single user logs into Microsoft Azure, he can start using the resources, creating or using the resources uh, on Azure. And uh, all of the, the charges, the costs is, is built through the subscription to the organization. So the subscription, of course, it represents the contract between organization and organization and Microsoft and is used to for billing purpose. So again, um, this, this whole thing represents, um, if we kind of stitch them together, um, it represents a when a user logs in to Microsoft Azure, uh, the tenant is used to authenticate the user or the account in order to use the subscription that is associated to the Azure Active Directory. So this is a this is a simple scenario. Uh, and if this is a subscription, uh, Office subscription, for example. Or um, yeah, if this is office of subscription, then then the there can be licenses and licenses can be assigned to account. And when you log in to um, when you log into Office, um, the the license the, you if if you are this account and assigned with this license, then by using by using the tenant to to authenticate yourself into um, Office 365, you have whatever the permissions that the license gives you in order to use the services. So uh, so this is a simple scenario. Uh, let's see a more uh, complicated uh, scenario. In this uh, example, we're showing that, Organization one organization can have multiple subscriptions, and uh, one uh, one tenant can have multiple 
uh, sorry, one tenant can be associated with, with multiple subscriptions. Also, one account can belong to uh, multiple tenants. So uh, then what do we do if, if we are associating, see the dotted line? It represents the association between subscriptions and the tenant. So what, what, what do we do? What happens when a subscription is associated with, with uh, sorry, what happens when a tenant is associated with multiple subscriptions? That's when you log into um, Azure and authenticate it through the, the uh, directive directory and start creating resources. You, you will be asked to select whether the resource is going to use this subscription or the other subscription or some other subscriptions, right? And uh, one organization can have multiple tenants. Uh, suppose you have multiple departments and they're the same organization under the organization, then and you want to you want to uh, separate the authentication or the group of users, then you can you can sort of do this, and uh, and this can be associated with a totally different subscription. Um, and that way the, uh, the billing is separate. <clears throat> and one account can be associated, can be, um, assigned to, to different tenants. And that's why in Azure, when you log in, if your account is associated with, with different tenants, you can switch directory. You can switch a directive directory. And because a tenant is a instance of all of the Azure services, then when you switch directory, you will see all of your resources that belong to this tenant is gone. And you can see the resources that belong to the other tenant. Right. Um, yeah, I, I hope this explains this uh, rather confusing concepts, all of these rather confusing some concepts. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask below. Thank you very much. And I hope this uh, makes sense to everyone. Thank you.